What's going on, everybody? It's Endless One Up. I hope you're doing well. What's on deck today? What is on deck? What's on deck? Do 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 do. <laughs> so, what's on deck today? Foregone. Another Metroidvania game. That's right. If you like Dead Cells, if you like Metroidvania games, this is a game for you. It's called Foregone. It came out in 2001. And is it Steam Deck Verified? Let's check it out and dock it up and find out. Is it Steam Deck Verified? I see green. Looks like we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and launch this up. We are in the game now. Let's go down to the options. So it's at 720 at 60 hertz. I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to change it to. We could lower it and then use the in built-in FSR. That actually could work, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it as defaults. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. We're going to go ahead and continue where I left off. I'm only a few minutes into the game. You'll be able to see the beginning and kind of how the game functions. So here's like your home base. After you get like further in levels and stuff and you'll like hit checkpoints, you'll come across these little like weird things here that can like teleport you back to this area and this is where you can talk to people and see like what missions you've done you can come over here and sell items or uh things like that so we got our two people over here and we got another person over here we can chat with but for right now we got another person over here i'm not going to try to pronounce that name but this is where we can upgrade our skills and stuff like that so if I wanted to do something like that, I can come in here and pick a handful of things. So there we go. And what do I got over here? Anything fun? All right, we're good. So we got a slide, we got our sword attack, we have our little gun, and you only have so many bullets. I don't know if you can see up there at the top. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a Metroidvania type game. Let's go ahead and check out the map when we get in here. So you can see we have a little map that you can go and check out. There's little secrets even that are listed over there. That's pretty neat. You can see, I like the little ladders. This looks like an Atari game, this map. That's too funny. So yeah, you can see where I've gotten so far into the game. Not very far, just right to there. But yeah, super neat game. If you like pixel art, I bet you this game would look really cool on a CRT too. Whee! I like that spear. So th that's one of those little outposts that can teleport you back. Here are your little enemies. Uh, one thing about this game that's kind of cool is you don't actually have to aim your gun. Like if I shoot my gun at these things, it'll just shoot them. Uh, it'll aim at them, which is nice. Hey, one less thing to do, you know? But you don't want to keep shooting your gun like that because it'll waste all your bullets. So who doesn't like breaking crates? If you can't break a crate in the game, then is it really a game? You know, that's the question we should all be asking. <laughs> but I think you get the idea. Solid 60 frames per second at this default resolution. I bet you'd get 60 frames per second if you ended up sending this out to a larger television as well. This does not take a lot of processing power here. As you can see, um, this hasn't even deviated once from 60 frames per second. We're running around taking out all these baddies. No issues at all. We can slide our way to victory. Wee! <laughs> And the cool thing is, is you don't have to fight people. You can just like be like, I'm going to run away from you. So if you're more into like the running away kind of, <laughs> you can do that too. So, you know, sometimes it's, it's worth just taking a run for it and getting the heck out of there. But yeah, so that's it. Let's go ahead and bring me back up the full screen here. So that's four gone on the Steam Deck. Again, solid 60 frames per second, no issues at all. This is one of those games that if you can grab it, please grab it. It's a fun game. It's polished. Controls great. Plays great. And I appreciate you being here. If you're new here, think about liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon so you can get notified for all the What's on Deck videos. And again, thanks. Peace.